but so I answered this in two parts. Um, the second part I did in a location. So I'm gonna answer your question. Um, my favorite book or book that like inspired me as a child or as a youth was Dream a Little Dream by Piers Anthony and Julia Brady, I think her name is. Um, it's a book that I got from my parents when I think I was, was in like 2003, which was a long time ago. And I got it and I just, I really connected with it. Um, it was very never ending story-esque, like it was this girl who's had, like, had this shitty life and escaped her shitty life by going to her dreams. And then of course something happens and her dream world is under an attack and she has to save it. Of course, how our dreams go. And while she is in her dreamland, she meets this woman and this woman um, is also a real person. Um, who they've like met in this fantasy world and they both le lead similarly depressing lives and it's how their struggles uh, create victories in their dream worlds and how they are able to um, defeat their bad guy more or less like defeat the nightmare that is threatening to destroy their world in reality gives them the strength or in their uh, dream world it gives them the strength to defeat the shittiness and and all of that in their real life so it was really cool and I really liked it um, it actually gave me a lot of stuff to think about because it was it wasn't a fluffy book like it was scared I was what in grade 8 and it was really hard like these women were beaten and one of them was raped and one of them was a prostitute and I'm like in eighth grade <laughs> reading it and maybe it was a poor choice of gift but it really helped me to think like these are real things that happen all the time and who helps these people like these people can help themselves but they shouldn't have to struggle all by themselves so it definitely gave me some food for thought and help me to kind of get where I am today. Definitely help plant that seed that, you know, no man is an island and that they really, or people, all people, just need someone to throw, extend their their arms. Come to me, let me help you. Let me do all of the things. Um, <coughs> I don't even remember if that was your question, but that's what I'm answering, so. And I'm gonna get away with that, because you didn't answer my question right anyways. Um, and so your question I answered on location for a reason. So my question for you, since I am in my most favorite place in the entire world, the car wash, what is your most favorite place in the entire world? Did I already ask this question? I don't know, but I'm asking you, your most favorite place. Go. Suck it. Bye. Did you change my life in any way at all? Michael's an asshole. <laughs>